We have our lady Nafisa, may Allah raise her rank. She is from the descendants of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was at the time of Imam al-Shafi'i radiallahu anhu. She was a very, very, very righteous woman. She was a very righteous woman. It was also mentioned that she was living in an area where non-believers were living around her as well. And she had neighbors and one of them, a family, consists of father and mother and a paralyzed daughter. Paralyzed daughter, unable to walk, on wheelchair, you say. One day, the father and the mother, who were non-Muslims, wanted to go to a place and they were thinking, where should we leave our daughter? Maybe she needs something. Then it came to their mind, why don't we put her with this righteous neighbor, Sayyidina Nafisa radiallahu anha. Let's do that. So the mother went and asked Sayyidina Nafisa radiallahu anha if she can keep their daughter with her. She said yes. They brought their daughter to Sayyidina Nafisa radiallahu anha. That daughter started watching and monitoring closely our lady Sayyidina Nafisa radiallahu anha. When it was the time for the prayer, Sayyidina Nafisa went and started making wudu. Went up and started making wudu. The water of the wudu was flowing on the floor and coming towards this paralyzed girl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired this girl to take from that water of wudu and to wipe her legs with it. So as the water reached her, she took from that water and she wiped on her legs and she was able to stand up on her legs. Once she saw this, she said, I swear to God that our religion is false and the religion of Islam is the true religion. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah And she embraced Islam. After a while, she went back to her home after her parents came. Now, instead of waiting for them to come to take her back home, she went to them. She knocked on the door. The mother opened the door. She didn't know her at the beginning. She was overwhelmed. Then she realized that that is her daughter. Then she explained to her what happened. Then the mother said, I swear to God that our religion is false and the religion of Islam is a true religion. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Then they told the father and he embraced as well Then many neighbors in that area who were non-Muslims embraced Islam because of this incident She was a blessed woman filled with blessings This lady Nafisa radiyallahu anha dug her grave in her house before her death and she used to go down into that grave and recite the Qur'an every day until she was able to read the whole Qur'an in her grave 6,000 times. And she used to supplicate Allah Azza wa Jal to make her amongst those who die while fasting. In her deathbed, she felt thirsty and she was fasting. Her servant came to her with a cup of water and said to her, drink it. She started crying. And she said, I've been waiting to die while fasting for 30 years. 
and now you are telling me to drink water, I want. Then she started reciting from Surah Al-An'am until she reached this ayah, لَهُمْ دَارُ السَّلَامِ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ They will be rewarded with the abode of peace. And that is paradise. She died. When she reached this ayah. So this lady, Nafisa radiallahu anha, was preparing herself for the hereafter. She prepared the grave. And she used to fast a lot. Hoping that when she dies, she dies while fasting. 